Here I have a torso sculpture that's at a level of detail which incorporates fine musculature and anatomy, but it doesn't include any surface detail like pores and veins. So at this point in the workflow, I like to retopologize our mesh into an animation-friendly model, because right now, this triangulated mesh that comes from dynamic topology is not going to be good for animation. So instead, I'm going to turn it into a retopologized model like this one, where we have clean, quadded geometry. And from here, I plan to add additional sculpting detail, like those skin pores and veins. However, the problem is I've lost some detail. If I add a subdivision surface modifier and bump the view subdivisions to two, let's unhide that sculpture and move it off to the side to compare the two, you can see that all of our details are softened compared to our sculpture. And in this video, I wanna show you how we can salvage that detail and bring it over into our retopologized mesh to be used with a multi-resolution modifier. So I'm going to duplicate this retopologized mesh, hide the original, and then move our duplicate back to its original location with Alt-G, do the same for our sculpture, select it, Alt-G, so now they're sitting on top of each other. Let's select our retopologized mesh and uh, add a shrink wrap modifier. And then with the target eyedropper tool, we can select that sculpt body mesh. Now we can see our model has snapped to the surface. If we hide our sculpture, you can clearly see that all that detail is back. Now that's step one. If I come down here to the object menu and choose convert to and choose mesh, that will collapse our modifier stack. Now let's move this off to the side, unhide our original retopology, and we'll get rid of that subdivision surface modifier that we added. Instead, let's go to multi-resolution modifier where I will continue sculpting detail, which is based on subdivision, just like the subsurf modifier. So we have our subdivide button here. If I click that twice, remember that's the level I chose for our shrink wrapped version. So now these two meshes are matching exactly in terms of geometry and vertex count. And so we have an option over here in the multi-res called reshape. If I hover over that, the description is to copy vertex coordinates from one object to another. Now this is based on local space, so I don't have to move this shrink wrap torso back to the middle. But if I select that and now hold shift and select our multi-res object and click reshape, you can see that our detail jumps over. So we can delete that uh, shrink wrap version and the nice thing about having this incorporated into multi-resolution is we can jump down to lower subdivisions, sculpt there, we can jump up, we can subdivide more into the higher levels for finer details, and we don't have to re-sculpt anything that we already did in the original sculpture. We can just keep moving forward. 